Adam Peake. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well. You're yeah. looking very, uh, you're looking very uh, ne- yes. I'm, I'm happy in, f- with with yourself. I'm in a, I'm in a very good, uh, very good. Uh, yeah, because uh, you've you've conquered a oh, mountain, all climbed a mountain. Yeah, I've had um, new discovery, new discovery, new what's, discovery, what's discovery. Well, I have now got one hundred percent conclusive proof that rockets do not work in space. Oh, really? Yes. Well, let's have a look. One hundred percent. Now, this follows on um, after we did um, "Do Rockets Work in Space?" Part Two, where um, our, we we ended up showing. No, what it was was that the mainstream always says that rockets work because uh, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. But we wanted to know a, a better explanation than that. And, w- and we came up with an idea why rockets are actually propelled, which is featured in this video. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, by making a balloon car. By making a balloon car. So, if people want to watch that for a better explanation, yeah, that that would be great. Why we think rockets actually work or are propelled, yeah. Then please watch that video. But let's let's just quickly cover the basic principle with the balloon. Can we do that? Yeah, because that needs to be done. Um, <clears throat> mainstream says, okay, mainstream says. That uh, on, when a balloon deflates, the air com- rushes out there as it's they've got an imbalance in the balloon. The air rushes out out there, and the um, the f- f- the moment the force <coughs> the momentum of the air coming <coughs> out of the balloon, balloon in this direction, a, 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 a pressure within the balloon that's imbalanced in the opposite direction that pushes it pushes the balloon forward. forward so they're saying that a force is applied to the front of a balloon basically in, yeah. the yeah. inside wall so you're more or less so they're more or less saying that if you chuck something out the back of something it will move <coughs> forward or if you chuck something out the back at high speed it will move forward yeah now we after doing our um do rock, do rockets work in space part two um we we come we came to uh, understand that it's the atmosphere. The well, a lot of people, the environment, <clears throat> a lot of people have it in them that a rocket needs something to push off from. Absolutely, of course. And <clears throat> what we found, what I and I've, what have you done to prove that that is correct? Well, let's play this video. Okay, let's <clears throat> prove this. Let's. Sorry, let's sh- sh- show this video, okay? And because I made a modification to the balloon cart, okay? So there's the there's the balloon cart. There we go. Those oh. little wings are to stop the balloon from, from sliding off from yeah and hitting the the surface, the surface of the work. But it's going to roll over. So there's the balloon cart, same as before in the previous video those McDonald's straws uh, those milkshakes were quite nice weren't they they were weren't they yeah <clears throat> yeah there you go nice it, run, it runs smoothly over that board you know you don't have to uh, uh, push it much there we go uh, dee, dee, dee. and then you, you've got to explain why this is conclusive as well absolutely yeah of course yeah well, that hopefully won't take too long because I don't want this video to be too long. Now I'm blowing. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be. I'm blowing up this uh, balloon cart because I want people to show. I want to show to people that it works. Well, yeah, and you're using a punch balloon as well. Absolutely, yeah. Which is quite a heavy duty balloon. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's large. It's a large balloon. Yeah, yeah. Now there it goes. Now that works really okay, doesn't it? You know, it's. Uh, there you go. Even goes down to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works fine. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that work. That works fine. Now, what I'm so what you're you're now this now what I've um, thought what I thought about doing after after our do rockets work in space part two is to have a longer coned nozzle to attach a longer coned well, what, what, nozzle what at the saying, end of the straw. What what you're saying is that 
you, you, you're still allowing that air from that balloon to go come out, rush out through the straw. Sure. Absolutely, yeah. I'm not inhibiting so in it in logic, any way. In their logic, you're still allowing that pre- that forward pressure on the front of the balloon. Mm, absolutely. To the, propel it forward. forward. Yeah, there's no, you know, I mean, in the previous video, um, I did actually make up a diffuser, which I inserted into the um, into cone, a shorter, shorter cone, cone nozzle. And some people may have thought that that would inhibit the flow of the air. So I was thinking, well, I, what I could do is actually you just use a longer cone nozzle, mm. a single one, you know. So the, the air that's coming out of the straw isn't inhibited in any way. Absolutely. And it, this, the cone is, is only cardboard, isn't it? The cone is only lightweight cardboard. It's card. Not, card. Not card. Not card. No, it's card. It's not cardboard. It's card, lightweight card. Now, I blow this balloon up about 12 times. Hmm. Okay, so it's super, super huge. So the air that's going to come out of the uh, (coughs) straw will be maintained for a longer period. And the 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 pressure is highly is greatly increased Mm. of the air coming out of the straw. You know, so there we have blown up. Look at that; it's uh, quite it's nice and big. That one, nice and big. That one. And as you can see, there's no movement in that whatsoever. Well, it should move, shouldn't it? It, it? it should move. You can imagine that in space, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Because that is exactly what would happen in space. <clears throat> Absolutely. You're not, you're not going to move. You, this clearly, conclusively demonstrates that you need the surrounding environment. It's the surrounding air environment that that column of air coming out of the straw uh, interacts with that will gives you that motion that gives you that motion absolutely oh yeah without that you're not going anywhere so rockets do not work in a negative pressure or vacuum environment mm. and if somebody tells you that they do they're giving you bullshit so what if um, so what would somebody say to challenge that I don't know. I mean, they, they might say, well, it was the weight of the card. Well, no, it can't be because it moved before. True, and that balloon, that that balloon is quite a heavy-duty balloon. That balloon's heavy. I blew it up <clears throat> more in this demonstration. So it should work. Should it, it, it should have worked. It all it <clears throat> it proves beyond any doubt whatsoever that the a rocket does push off from something Mm. and we explain in our other video do rockets work in space part two yeah we explain well we provide we provide an idea why as to why this this doesn't work this doesn't work but i would imagine in our next upload we'll probably probably discuss it a bit more to um you know to give a better understanding as to what's the dynamics that's going on within that cone nozzle well, as much as we can. As much as we, we can, can, obviously, I mean. But but there you go. The, to me, it's, it's rockets don't work in space. This is 100% conclusive proof. That the, 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 the balloon car or a rocket needs the surrounding air behind it. Or the mass, the masses behind that interact with the column of thrust that comes out of the straw it comes out of the straw or rockets nozzle in order to propel itself in order to propel itself that that's clear isn't it yep okay so that's that's all i wanted to do which i'm very pleased i've done and there um, we go you can enjoy it. the day now i can enjoy the day now yeah lovely yeah great super super duper so if anyone Your medals in the post then yeah Pete. absolutely so if anybody wants to watch the uh do rockets work in space part two uh, i would certainly recommend them to watch it because it's very enlightening as to well it does it does get you thinking about even uh, a different way even about the the basic forces that are around uh, uh, yeah that are in in prevalent <coughs> that are like in, friction for example yeah that are active yeah during a rocket launch yeah so so there we go so uh, uh, can, that's it then isn't it absolutely yeah well done well, well done there, Peter. Thank you ever so much for your time. Thanks ever so much for uh, making my balloon car and 
adding the uh, and doing the video yeah. and doing the video yeah. and even uh, providing the uh, vinegar wheels vinegar bottle wheels for me yeah lovely okay so always remember till the next time of nonsense if something doesn't make sense it's nonsense cheers Pete. bye Ta -da. the earth isn't round it's flat how do you know i've observed it in all my travels over europe it's flat everywhere it's flat